Hey, what up there, roguelike fans? Welcome back to the 2012 7-Day Roguelike Challenge retrospective that we are still slogging our way through. And that's the wrong uh, phrase, I guess. It's definitely not a slog. Uh, we're still enjoying our way through. Uh, today we have uh, an interesting one called Dune RL uh, by Daniel Brooker and Tom Carey, a joint effort there. Um, Dune RL, I'm, I'm really pleased I was able to find it, first of all. It is one of those ones I had to go on the Wayback Machine and did not have high hopes for finding, but managed to dig it out uh, nonetheless. So I will include that link to where you can get this game and play it if you wish to. Um, what can I tell you about Dune RL? The first and most obvious thing I can tell you is that it is uh, inspired by Frank Herbert's Dune. Uh, an excellent novel, if you've never read it. I think probably one of the best sci-fi novels ever written, in my opinion. Um, didn't love all the sequels. I uh, read the second one, and the third one I think I lost my way and didn't really enjoy it so much. So, But that first one is a hell of a good book. Um, there is no readme with this included with this game, so we're going to try and figure it out together. But I do have some hints to go on. Let's try and take a look now and see what we can learn um, according to what I can see here. Give me one second to find that. Etc. Etc. What it says here, Dune RL, 2012, 7DRL. Dune RL is a fan-made game based on Frank Herbert's Dune. Dune RL is a survival roguelike with large areas of sand dunes for you to explore. You need to find your way back to your base after being lost in the desert. I should copy this and paste it into a, a text file for myself in case I ever want to play in the future. You need to find your way back to your base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have a limited supply of water. You can collect and consume spice to help with the dehydration. Dune RL is built on top of a working, a half-working, roguelike library called Quaffable. And we can see that right there on the screen. It says something about Quaffable somewhere on there. Um, maybe you can't see that. Uh, this opened a window. When I, when I launched this, it opened a window. Uh, it does say Dune RL 7 DRL 2012 comma Quaffable in the... Uh, in the window title. Um, P.S. That's, just, that's a really cool name for a, uh, a roguelike engine, Quaffable. I think that's kind of a, a lovely, ingenious name. All right. Um, <clears throat> uh, Quaffable has been developed very slowly over the last few years, last few years being the few years preceding 2012. I have no idea if it's continued since then. Um, this should be the first playable game based on the Quaffable library. Uh, the source is licensed under the new BSD license. We're not touching the source. I don't know what that means, so I ain't going to care about the source. Um, language is used C++, 95.6%. Objective C, 4.2%. C, 0.2%. Tips. Spice temporarily helps ignore the effects of dehydrated, <laughs> but too much will get you addicted. You can regain some water by quaffing blood. Lovely. And draining corpses. That, that's in line with the book, of course. You did you know, salvage the water from the, uh, the dead. Don't run from dune cats. They're dangerous. Those, those are a new addition to the uh, to the dune legend, the dune uh, lexicon of monsters. I've never heard of dune cats unless they showed up in later books. Basic controls, subject to change. Hopefully they didn't change. Arrow keys, movement, menu navigation. Enter, confirm menu item. I, items inventory. E, equip selected item. U, unequip selected item. Q, quaff. Consume selected item. D, drop selected item. P, pick up selected item. F, fire ranged weapon, arrows to aim, enter to confirm. Period, to stand still. Escape, to open, close, menu. And then he's got what happened to him on his various days of work. But we're not so much concerned with that. Let's, uh, let's try and return to our base, I guess. It tells us right here. You've been separated from your spice collecting party. Make your way back to Arakeen. It'll be night soon. Find water... Utilize the spice. Survive the storm. We can see we are Fade Rotha. We are and Harkonnen, which is like a bad guy in the original Dune book. Uninjured, hydrated. We have zero spice. We are equipped. Equipped a ranged weapon. We are standing on the hot sand. Hit enter. Done and deal. Uh, let's try I for inventory. We have a melee weapon equipped and a ranged weapon equipped. We have to fire that. Uh, is there? A, is, was there a command listed for look? Let me check that. No command listed for look. I don't know what those O's. You see those O's in the uh, in distance? Are those are those spice cats? Or are those spices? I don't know what the fuck that is. Let's, let's head towards the O because I don't know what else. Like, if we learn if we learn this bad idea, we'll uh, rectify it. My number pad doesn't work. Let's try and use the arrows. Oh, the, oh I'm, I'm on the wrong window. Like an idiot. 
When am I not in the wrong window? I am now in the right. Oh, excuse me. We're in the. We're in the. Uh, all right, I'm in the right window, and we're out of the equipment. Uh, we left. Uh, what are those things? Footprints. Oh, those must be footprints. Okay. At least we can tell where we, where we came from. You think the M is a dune cat? Or a meerkat, because it's M. Not knowing what the letters are, it leaves me a little bit nervous about uh, whether we're putting ourselves in danger. What, we must be down in a valley between dunes, I'm guessing. You think darker is darker's probably lower. Oh, we, we're standing on rock. Okay, rock is a good place to be. We can't see ourselves in the fucking rock. That's not great. <laughs> Um, and we're leaving footprints on rock, miraculously. I, I, I don't know what an M is. Let's ignore M for now. We're back off the rock. Did we, uh, let's try going down here and P for pick up. This doesn't appear to be anything pick upable. Although, maybe it is, because we, 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 it's no longer there. As soon as you step on it, it's gone, right? I don't know what these things are. Still uninjured, still hydrated. I don't know if we should be killing that M to salvage this water or what. Let's just walk west. Having no clue where to go. There is a uh, secondary window that opens behind this window. Uh, based on that, I could tell uh, it's a 600 by 600 map. You feel thirstier. You feel thirstier yet. We're still hydrated, mind you. It is getting darker, so I guess night's coming. Or we're, or we're fainting, one of the two. Let's go down. Yeah, you can see the um, the uh, how, how how restricted our vision gets when we go down. It must be the um, must be a pit. <laughs> so darker is is deeper and uh, lighter is higher, which makes sense. I can't tell if we're getting to the edge of the map or not. I thought for a second we were, but now I don't see that anymore. I wonder what all these little things we're standing on are. These little squiggly lines. Are these decorative? So far, this is a rather uneventful roguelike. <laughs> Could have called it Walk West for the way we're playing it. What is that? I see a spade. So see what the hell a spade is. Red spade, no less. Oh, a bunch of spades and an M. That looks like it's really excited because of all the explanation points, but I guess that's just its uh, tracks. You are standing on the hot side. Oh, picked up spice. Okay. So we can use that to um, hydrate ourselves. Let's do that now. Let's go to uh, I. Three spice. Let's press it. Well, enter? I don't know. What did it say? Let me go check what it said. Uh, quaff, of course. Q. How could it not be quaff and quaffable? One second. Still getting things lined up again. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's try Q. Q. Mild spice madness, but I guess we, uh. I guess we're not thirsty anymore. Let's go kill this M if we can. I should have fired at it, damn it. The tracks are kind of neat. I can tell where it went. Allegedly. Okay, let's fire on it now. Fire F, 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 enter. F period. Well, F and what, man? I pressed F to fire. Arrow, arrows to aim and enter to confirm. I press enter, you bastard. Maybe it's because I don't have the um, the numlock on. I gotta use this keyboard. No, enter's not doing shit. Unless I gotta aim it yet, or unless it froze. Man, I'm in the wrong goddamn window now. As I always am. I try enter again. On my keypad does nothing. On the keyboard, that fire. I had to use one on the keyboard. I'm gonna put my number lock back on and see if I can move. So you have to have number lock off to move, but you have to have number lock on to use the uh, enter in the keypad. I think it was easy to kill. Let's go, um... You're standing on the corpse of a Muad'Dib. A Muad'Dib? Isn't Muad'Dib the, uh... Like the... The faux moniker given to Paul Atreides when he became, like, this religious icon? He was THE Muad'Dib? Like, the Christ? Uh, how do we get the water out of this guy? Out of this Muad'Dib? Maybe I killed Paul. Um, get water out of dead bodies. What does it say? This? You regain some water by quaffing blood. And let's try picking up. See if we can pick up the blood. Come here, you. 
All right, P for pick up. P is not doing shit. Let's try uh, Q for quaff. Well, I don't know, man. We're on a corpse. You're standing on the corpse of a Muad'Dib. I can see that. What does it say exactly? <sighs> is there anything in here? Quaff or consume selected items? You have to have the item, allegedly. Is there like a, a key for search? Like search the body? You can regain some water by quaffing blood and draining corpses, but it doesn't tell us to drain corpses. D is for drop. Let's try all the other keys. Maybe he forgot to include this particular um, important item. Also, escape opens and closes a menu. Let's try that. One second, just gonna get my windows all set up again. All right, let's try escape. Return to game, debug, no. <laughs> all right, uh, let's try um, enter. Enter does nothing. I'm afraid to press, we're gonna press a key that like drops us out of this, but if it does, you know, so, so be it. Um, I'll try D. D does nothing, it doesn't drain. Oh, the, the body's gone. All right, let's try, let's try I. Somehow we got it. It might have been the um, enter. So let's try quaffing that. Did that work? Maybe so, but we're still damn thirsty, so I don't know. I quaffed the entire corpse. I fucking stuck a straw in his stomach and started slurping, and we're still thirsty, so... Let's go kill the C. This... Oh, that's a, that's a fucking cat I was warned about, isn't it? Let's try it. We can't do a... That's four we movement only. Uh, hit Dune Cat, hit Fade Rotha. You were standing on the hot sand, so I am. I killed the damn Dune Cat. Let's go get, uh, let's go... Let's try Enter. I press Enter. And I got the corpse. So I guess you press Enter to pick something up. Uh, a corpse. I'm guessing. Let's try... Q. For qu or maybe not, maybe just set it on the ground. Consumed. Dune Cat's corpse, and I got a uh, fucking hydrated again. I'm uninjured. I was standing in the blood. Oh, let's just try quaffing this. Or try... Enter? Uh, fucking I on the ground doesn't say anything about it. Can't drink my own blood. I on the ground is nothing according to this. So we have that spice. The madness didn't last long. It might help us survive. P for pick up. Maybe I didn't have to. Maybe I just got it as soon as I stepped on it. It's more spice over here. Let's go get all the lovely spice. The richest man in Arrakis. Let's fire on this son of a bitch. Enter. Got him. Let's go drink his blood. I. Oh, it's another Muad'Dib. I don't know what the hell that means, but alright. Maybe I misunderstood. Maybe all his followers became known as Muad'Dibs eventually in the other books. I don't fucking know. Uh, Q for Quaff. Do I get... I pick up the spice automatically when I step on it. It's just a done deal as soon as it happens. Can't fire yet. Escape gets you out of the firing mode, by the way, guys. Just found that out. Got him. Let's go drink a corpse. Q. Oh, you gotta press I. Whoops, I, I quaffed a fucking... What did I do? I tried to quaff my... Ma I, I tried to quaff a weapon. Maybe I automatically quaffed the corpse when I did it. Can't fire on him yet. Nope. I don't know if I uh, screwed something up when I when I press Q and I hit it. No, it's fine. All right, enter. Um, I Q. It doesn't seem like you can pick up corpses. You just drink them where they stand. something about a drinkable corpse that is quite revolting. I don't just mean, like, salvaging the water. It makes me think the entire corpse is liquefied. Like you tried to... What do you call that? Cryogenically freeze and with the old technology, and occasionally they'd open up the containers and find that the body had liquefied inside. That happened. Look it up. It's gross. I'm going south. It looks like I'm... No, oh, no, I guess I'm not coming to the edge of that. Oh! Is that... There's something over here. Maybe that's... Maybe that's my town? I'm standing on rock. No, it's just rock. Alright, well, that was useless. 
Rock would be useful if there was um, sandworms, you know, arachid sandworms, um, which you used to escape by going onto rock in the in the books. Used to. You used to. You remember back when we all lived on Arrakis. Um, I don't know if there are any. I don't know if he continued work on this, you know, later, and this is the version I got. Well, this version was pretty recent. I got it via the Wayback Machine from 2020. So kind of recent. Uh, I, I don't imagine he's worked on it recently, but... I Quaff that bastard. Let's get some more spice. Kill another dune cat I'm not that afraid of. Um, got the spice. Can't fire on him yet. Hit Atreides. Did I kill Atreides? Was that the other guy I killed? I'm not even looking anymore. I assumed M was... I don't know what that was about, that message down there. Maybe somebody else did? Maybe somebody else fighting something? Killed a dune cat. I don't know if I have any ammo. I don't know if that's an issue. Drink a dune cat. How would that be for a really a really obscure band name? Who would ever guess it? If you need your band, drink a dune cat. Based on the playing of this obscure 2012 Seven Day Roguelike. Uh, Q. Or quaff a dune cat. I like drink a dune cat. It's got the alliteration. Let's get all this lovely spice. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got so much spice, it's staggering. We're not being very systematic about our um, exploration of this place. I mean, the, the logical thing to do would be to, you know, approach from one direction, like keep going that direction. Ah, for God's sakes, I can't shoot at this guy. Or Quaffa Muadib. Quaffa Muadib. Drink a Dune Cat's better. Do you go on the rock? I don't see his foot bodies. These guys are all on the rocks. To kill all the Muad'Dibs we see. So let me, um... Something I was, I'm debating. Um, I, I I'm still maintaining my personal list of all the roguelikes we've played on this channel and and ranking them against the day when I can assemble a proper ranking. I'm uninjured still. Does it hurt? Not hurt me? Did he not implement that? I I drank the Doom Cat. Um. So does. I you know I've got to be judicious about what I include. What's a what's a rogue like? Um, I'm trying to decide if yesterday's seven DRL uh, Dead Knight Dead Knight Two the Lost Caravan I think it was called. I'm trying to debate if that uh, if that constitutes a a rogue like. Do I include it in the list? And I do not know the answer. This would, obviously. So far, I don't think it would score particularly highly on that list. No offense to the two who worked on it. Great um, topic for a game. And the dunes are really well done. The um, sort of elevation map and the sight lines uh, dealing with that are pretty cool. The gameplay itself, I can't say, is particularly riveting right now, especially this just total guesswork as to where we're going. It's just like wandering. I feel like fucking Moses wandering the desert for 40 years. Like, literally 40 years. I'll keep going east. I hope this thing doesn't wrap around. I hope we're not walking around the surface of Arrakis and we end up back where we came. Cause we, if the tracks disappear... Do the tracks remain? No, they disappear after a time. Which makes sense. The uh, blowing wind would obscure them, but... It does mean I'll never know if I wrap back around. Better find something to drink soon. Um, I don't fucking know. 
bunch of... Oh, there's something there. Something new. Is that a worm, maybe? Fire. It didn't tell me how to fire it on it. What is that? I, I killed a... Oh, it's a Harkonnen. Like me. Fuck you, Harkonnen. Uh, let's drink the Harkonnen. He had an odd look, didn't he? He wasn't like an H for Harkonnen. He was like a circle with a triangle in it. He looks like something I would stand on to summon a demon more than a Harkonnen. Well, I'm hoping this is the edge of the map. I don't think it is. I think we're just down in a valley. For fuck's sakes. I'll give it another ten minutes, guys. If we don't find, um... Well, I, I quaffed my... I, I guess I automatically quaffed the thing that was quaffable there. If I don't... We're a dehydrate. Maybe we'll die. Maybe we'll get lucky and die. Oh, I hit a Freeman. That was a Freeman. Uh, Freeman are the... Freeman are the people who are native to Arrakis who have blue eyes from constant spice exposure and are extremely good fighters except for the fact that I just killed one with a shot. Um, let's frickin' eat a spice. Uh, enter. Uh, Q. Got some mild spice madness, but it lets me take off... It's saying I hit a Freeman, I don't know. So maybe something else is hitting a Freeman near me. He's reporting the activities of another nearby thing. Still dehydrated. I think it just temporarily uh, alleviates your need for water, you know? When you take the spice, I'm still thirsty. I've never been injured yet. I'm not sure if these guys are capable of injuring me. Is is that an absent quality of this game? That guy, that guy just fucking died. I don't know what he died of. Did he die of thirst? Just dropped dead. Where are you guys going? Where's everybody going? There's a dead guy up here. Let's go get the corpse. Free food. Or free water, I guess. There's a yellow symbol that was a Harkonnen before. Let's find out what it is, at least. This isn't Atreides' corpse. There's only so many Atreides. It's like a member of the... I don't know if it's a member of the House of Atreides, or if it's actually a family member. Like, last name Atreides. I just killed whatever the yellow guy was. That's a Freeman. Show you something um, of mild note, just to have something to talk about as soon as I kill one of these M's or something. As soon as I kill something. Oh, as soon as I stand on the corpse. Okay. So we're going to go on the corpse and press I. Obviously, we can cycle down to the Doom Cat's corpse. But if you cycle up, Oh, it didn't. I didn't have it before. I mean, take the doomed cat's corpse. It just uh, lied. It just proved me wrong. All right, I go up from here. The Muad'Dib corpse, allegedly. Yeah, see, it skips over the Muad'Dib corpse and goes to the ranged weapon. Unless we go down once first. Yeah, once you've gone down once, it's a minor minor error from ten years ago. If you cycle down to the corpse, it, it understands that if you go off the top of the uh, list, that there's a corpse there. Otherwise, it brings you to the bottom item and skips the ground. Oh, the things we learn about these nutty, nutty ancient roguelikes. For the love of... Like, I have no fucking clue where I'm going. And lacking that information... Let me see if there's any... Even if there was a hint. Even if it told us, hey, go frickin' northeast. Like, I don't know where we are anymore. I'm as lost as I would be in a desert. I'm a hell of a lot as lost as I would be outside my bedroom, frankly, but... That one didn't even go to the bottom of range weapon. Well, I guess we can get a... Maybe maybe we have a second range weapon now? I don't know. I'm just running from monster to monster and killing it to drink. We're still uninjured by these dangerous... It lists us as an uninjured. Oh, unless we're trying to kill Fade Rotha. Maybe we're not Fade Rotha. Hit Fade Rotha. Yeah, we are. My, my... Was my at symbol always uh, red? I don't remember. Let's go up. Yeah, that, that one got it. See if we, uh, if you need a, another Dune Cat, I'll try going up right off the bat and seeing if... Uh, is it just the Muad'Dibs that have that little weird glitch? I gotta say, I guess it's not a, it's not a good sign 
for how engaged I am. Yep, Mudibs have it for sure. With the game. When the thing I'm most interested in is finding out if cycling up through my inventory will skip a given corpse or not. <laughs> Oh, I think we may have just won, guys. Wouldn't that be great? Let's go find out. You are standing on something indescribable. You have won! <laughs> Thanks for playing! Oh, playing. I see the G got wrapped around. <laughs> I thought it was just like countrified lingo. Thanks for playing! That's not countrified. Thanks for playing. You collected 19 spice. Well, I guess that's your score, perhaps? I collected more than that, but I just used some of it. So I guess you can go collect some for a score. There you go, I got a score of 19. Let's exit. I want to try one last thing. I'm just you can, you can go away now, just because there's no way you give a shit about this. But in case I'm wrong, in case you're like some fucking fascinating character like myself who thinks this is great. Um... I'm going to find a... Yeah, I'm hitting enter, dude. Oh, I'm in the wrong fucking window. <laughs> Jesus Christ. As per always, I'm in the wrong window. Let me find out... There's a cat. I just want to kill the cat and try and cycle up through it and see if the... If, Jesus, come back here, cat. You're my experiment. Look at that fucking thing go. You're my experiment. You're like Schrodinger's cat. You are neither... Scroll upable, nor scroll not scroll upable until I test you. Oh, it's fucking gone. All right, fuck that. Let's find another cat. Merely for the sake of it. There's one. Fire, enter. Fire, enter. Fire, enter. All right, we're gonna go on it. I'm gonna press I, and I'm gonna cycle up. See, the Doom Cat's corpse does not have that error, but the Muad'Dib's do. Isn't that fucked up? Isn't that a weird little? point of, of, of trivia that you can share with your friends and they'll be like, oh my god, you know that about Dune RL and you'll be the life of every party. That's it, guys. Uh, we're, we're done here. I see no reason to play again. I'll remember that I got a score of 19. Um, that was Dune RL by um, Tom Carey and and the gentleman who made Quaffable, which is Daniel Brooker or Booker? Dan Brooker. Um, I wonder if he ever continued his Quaffable library. I don't know. Tips don't run from Doom Cats, they're dangerous. No, they're really not. They're really not. Maybe they wanted to be eventually, um, but they're not. Let me just skip down to day seven to see if. I don't know if I continued this. I don't see anything about that. Day six. Um, I don't know. It doesn't tell us anything about the, the Doom Cats. I don't know if they ever got made dangerous or not. Anyways, I'm not going to keep you any longer. You've been as entertained as you're going to be by this, as have I. Um. Yeah, not something I think I'll ever fire up again. I guess it's nice to know we beat it. It's nice to know we beat another game from the 2012 7 DRL Challenge. I'll include it in my big list of that. I'll include it in my rank of roguelikes. And that is all I will do. I'm going to get back to work on caverns, guys. Um, my wife and I are going out tonight for Ethiopian food. It is our anniversary tomorrow, but I'm working a double shift tomorrow, so I'm taking her out tonight. Ethiopian's her favorite. I freaking love Ethiopian as well. And we haven't been to that particular restaurant uh, since before the pandemic, so this will be quite the adventure. Have a lovely day wherever you are.